with you guys got another video here for you this one's on how to fix the black box uh, issue in Camtasia Studio now if you've got a black box popping up I'll show you what I mean so if you look at this screen now you'll see this little black box that pops up where the cursor is and uh, so when you're you doing all your recordings this will be on all your recordings so let me quickly show you a, a quick fix that I found to uh, remove this okay so as you can see here this is the black box that I'm on about now you won't be able to see that until I've recorded the video and that's when the black box appears so I'll show you a quick way of fixing that so what you want to do is uh, well I'll need to stop this video first and we're going to need to go into our settings uh, here so we need to go into effects and then options it's grayed out for me because I'm recording at the moment so I'm going to stop recording and then I'll show you uh, how to fix it by recording it with something else okay so now we are looking at the menu here and now I've stopped recording with Camtasia it allows me to click on options so what you want to do is click on options and then come up to where it says cursor and up the top here where it says make cursor effects editable uh, inside uh, Camtasia Studio you don't want to do that at all so you want to take that out okay and once you do that it's just going to use the actual cursor as you can see here and then you won't get that black box um, popping up so let me just show you now I'll, I'll stop this and start to record with Camtasia and then you'll see that it's gone away so let me just quickly stop uh, this other video with uh, OBS and I'll uh, do another recording with Camtasia okay so we've changed the settings now inside Camtasia and we're using Camtasia again and I'll open up this document and you should see now there is no uh, black box uh, on the cursor there you should just see the cursor and this generally happens um, when you're using uh, other versions of Windows whether it be Windows 7 Windows 8 and this is Windows 10 uh, but it's only just started happening uh, I had this quite a long time ago and then it's come back in Windows 10 so maybe when when I update to the latest version uh, that will go away but there it is that's how you can fix and resolve that issue anyway so I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from briotechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos also if you've got any video requests or problems with computers, head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Just a quick one. I hope it one helps you out. See you in the next video. Bye for now.